Antarctic's been pretty, it's a pretty isolated continent. Very strong wind circling it. Um, there's, um, there's a pathway for water to circulate completely around Antarctica, so you can get very strong ocean currents, very strong effects. And it's been doing its thing fine up until about 2015, and then bang, it, we broke the Antarctica. We broke it. About 15, yeah, we just, so, so, so sea ice, instead of sea ice increasing one and a half percent per decade from 1970 to 2010, 2050, you know, it started reversing and we had record lows. Um, we've had a whole bunch of record low sea ice levels around Antarctica since since 2015. We broke Antarctica? We had a huge decline in sea ice. Um, we're getting warm water intruding underneath the ice shelves. Mm. Uh, most of the ice shelves are sitting on top of bedrock well below sea level. So the warm water is intruding in. You know, the, the air temperatures above Antarctica warming, but if you go from minus 40 Fahrenheit, which is minus 40 Celsius, if you go from that temperature to minus 35 Fahrenheit, uh, Celsius, it's still, it's still frozen, it's still ice, it's still snow, right? But the wa it's the water underneath that's warming and melting and cutting away from underneath that's, that's doing the most um, yeah. damage to that ice mm -hmm. log. Um, so the calving of, of ice shells is getting greater, you know, in, in both Greenland and Antarctica. But again, the, the whole system, nobody knows for sure. Like, like the, the blue ocean event could happen first in Antarctica, right? Less than a million square kilometers. Which is something not many of us have ever talked about. You talk, you talk about it, but not a lot of us have talked, uh, talked about a blue ocean event happening in Antarctica. I mean, that would have been wild to, to think of, up in, but after 2015, all bets are off, right? We're, we've had some levels of sea ice extremely low there, and the, the variation is, is larger there as well. So